Okay, so this is just going to show you how fast this computer uh, goes into hibernate or sleep mode and then resume again. So what I'm going to do is play like a music in the background and whenever the music stops, that's when it fully goes to sleep or hibernate. And when I push the power button again, when, it, when you hear the music again, that's when it fully resumes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just play a short YouTube clip. Alright, so this is hibernating. So you can see it turns off uh, pretty fast. Okay, so just making sure it's fully off. Alright, so when I push the power button again, um, you can see how fast it'll resume. All right, it's on. So now let's change it to sleep. All right, now it's in sleep mode. Here we go. Okay, it's off. Now resume. And it's back on. So sleep is pretty much instant. Okay, now we can do the same thing uh, closing the lid. Alright, it's off. Now resuming. Okay. Now I'm going to switch it back to hibernate. Okay, it's off. So the difference between sleep and hibernate is that when you put something in sleep mode, what it does is it saves everything into the memory. It suspends all the information in the memory and you can't turn off the power or pull out the battery because it always needs an electric current to keep that information in there. So once you pull that thing, all the um, information is going to get lost. Um, with hibernate what it does is it writes everything into the solid state and When you resume again everything gets res from the solid state So um, that's why it takes a little bit longer to write everything and also to read everything from the solid state, but um, with this computer um, it's So fast that sleep and hibernate are almost the same speed See so about five seconds to resume from hibernate and like a split second for to resume from sleep okay